One is gone. Did Black Hole get killed? I see. Dead, huh? <laughs> That's kind of funny. It was that man. Hmm. Somebody you know? Looks like not all humans are weaklings after all. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Sir, it is time. Okay. Oh, time for a meeting? Sweet. Let me watch. Fu, wait. This is a board meeting. It's important. This is a bitchin' room. Nice work, Damon. You're really coming up, huh? And you even followed my orders like a good little boy, too! <laughs> Fu, I told you, this is a board meeting. Please keep quiet and sit down over there. So, these are like... really capable dudes, huh? Of course. They're specialists in a wide range yeah. of... Yeah... Bunch of losers. Well... We're even more capable. So it's cool if I go ahead and fire these guys. Right, Damon? What have you done? Stop this! Oh, don't worry. You're a good secretary. I'll allow you to live. Ah! Okay, that's enough for the entertainment. Time for a strategy meeting. Damon, whip out the blueprints for the fighting arena. It's here. What are these blueprints? Who made these? So this city was just built without permission? Oh, come on. You've heard of LASIK before, right? Do you still remember? You mean... Ah! Taking over this planet is too simple and boring. So I decided to go with a game of conquest. Ha <laughs> Wouldn't it be hella fun if we got some humans to take on the galactic superhero rankings? Apparently some asshole took out Black Hole. Hey you! Secretary. Get the president on the line. The president? Did you not hear me? So, destroying the planet. That was your plan? Ever since way back then? Cute little me from back then, and the handsome ass me now? We're the same. Nothing's changed. Come on, Damon. Trust me. He is on the line, sir. Mr. President, you're gonna hold an emergency press conference. Let's make a joint announcement. I will not. Whatever you thugs are- Oh, okay then. I guess I've got no choice. Do it. I am Jess Baptiste the Sixth, a.k.a. Fu. I'm Prince of the Baptiste System, and you can call me Lord Fu. Listen up, Earthling aliens. I'm about to conquer this planet, but simply conquering it is no fun, and there's probably gonna be some resistance. I understand you people. So I'm gonna provide you with an opportunity. We're gonna play a game. A game of conquest. I won't run or hide. I'll be a Damon Tower in Utopia Land. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what army tossed that thing over this way, but I admire the motivation and the quick thinking. Nice move! Looks like someone out there's really got some balls. However, <laughs> make no mistake. You think you can kill me with those primitive ass firecrackers? You wanna kill me? Come kill me. You'll have 10 of the most elite dudes in the galaxy awaiting you. Or, well, one of them got killed. So nine, I guess. Take us all out, and we'll go home. Otherwise, we take over. The rules are simple enough, right? All right, Mr. President. <laughs> the game of death begins. The year 2021. The huge entertainment-based theme park built in Santa Destroy. Utopia Land. 
would no longer be holding its grand opening in two months. It was instead converted into the Garden of Insanity. Hesitate, and you are dead. The Colosseum that would hold the alien's game of conquest. Fu and nine of his aliens are dispatched into formation. Prepare to destroy the planet any time. Five on Earth, two in the sky, one on the moon, one in space. Fu sits in the central tower, and his nine soldiers, all recognized by the United Assassins Association, descend to Earth as the Galactic Superhero Ranking members. The following ten have been registered as members of the rankings. Number 10, the passing assassin, Travis Touchdown. Number 9, the space ore dealer, Gold Joe. Number 8, the alien kidnapper, Black Knight Direction. Number 7, the memory thief, Vanishing Point. Number 6, the gastro cannon, Velvet Chair Girl. Number 5, the Dark World Princess. Midori Midori Kawa. Number four, the Galactic Sniper Champion, Sniping Lee. Number three, the Demon God, Sonic Juice. Number two, the Master of Explosion, Paradox Bandit. Number one, our own King of Destruction, Jess Baptiste the Sixth. The all-out, all-star battle of space versus Earth. The ultimate battle of top-class space criminal versus assassin is about to kick off. No more than 10 hours of gaming per day. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. It was designed exactly according to your input. You could show a bit of appreciation, you know. Did I not just say... not bad? I'll help with the next one, too. Mr. Gold Joe has arrived. Ooh, let him in. All right. Lord Fu! Gold Joe is back! That Earthling called Travis. I'm leaving him to you. Oh, I'm honored. All the credit shall go to you, of course. What's that? It was dug out of a nebula behind the Milky Way. It's Galactica Rolling Thunder Rainbow. It's got a nice shine to it. I'll take good care of it. It'll give you great power. Now. I'll go destroy that Earthling myself! He's much weaker than you, but be careful. He's a wily bastard. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Don't kill him off too quickly. Ooh, a quick kill! That sounds like a nice plan. I'm going out. Where to?
So, what do you think about Miike's latest production? The Girls series was a proving ground. Miike used it to help him get to the next stage. It's like a treasure chest of production. By preparing so many different stages to test out just how far Japanese CG technology can go, he's pouring his passion into the improvement of systematized techniques. Damn, Travis. You really hit the nail on the head. The incubator of the new idol chosen in the audition, that's just as transient for him. And nobody notices that the true awesomeness of Miike is in the fact that he used this film shoot as a way to further his own technical staff. So basically, in the next Yakuza apocalypse-style full-on Miike film, these systematized techniques are really gonna come alive, right? Miike is a greedy dude. A hell of greedy dude. That Takashi Miike, man. I guess they're here. Looks like it's about time to get to work. Yeah, let's go. Which one? <laughs> Gene, hungry. Meow. Sup, assassin? You the one who killed my buddy? I saw you on TV, Prince. What a lame-ass little speech. That shit was just stupid. We had our own Miike night over here. Thanks to that, I came to the conclusion that Andromedia deserves to be re-evaluated. Ugh. Keep talking all you want. You're already dead. Or close enough, anyway. Because you've pissed me off. When the conversation stops, that's when you die. Oh, so you're challenging me, huh? You talk a pretty big game, Prince Dumbass. You, a human, ridicule me? That shall not stand. I'm tired of all this ranking bullshit. All I gotta do is take Prince Dumbass's head off and it's over. Bring it on. I'll give you a little kiss. This is over. I'll show you how it ends. Let's go! Shinobu! Get away from him!
That's about enough from you. Now it's my turn. Where are you? Hey, assassin. This a friend of yours? <clears throat> Let him go! He's got nothing to do with this! You're here for me! That doesn't make any sense. You killed my buddy, right? And so, well, this is how it's gotta be. <laughs> now you're really fucked! You goddamn scumbag! Now we're even! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Hey, Assassin! Come see me, and I'll give you a little kiss. Son of a bitch! <laughs> That's what I like to see! But don't forget, you're a scumbag too! You're not getting away! Henshin! <sighs> what the hell? Henshin! Fuck! Pull through it. Shinobu! Looks like I was too late! It's... morning? Shit. Where is he? Old man. Shinobu. Travis. Gene? Nah. <laughs> hmm. So sleepy. Where's Shinobu? She is still unconscious, but her chances of recovery are improving. She is in stable condition now. She survived. Good. Shinobu, come on. Wake up. Sorry. 
Sylvia. Hmm, that rage. Did something happen? They got Chernobyl. Yes. She is a rambunctious one, too. She was drawn to the Garden of Slaughter as well. Enough talk. Now let me at those sons of bitches. Ah, oh, the ranking battles, hmm? But Travis, first you have to clear a test battle. Otherwise, you cannot participate in the ranked battles. Then hurry the fuck up and make it happen. You are so serious. Was she so special to you? Now spare me your bullshit. Okay, then. Preparations for the test match are complete. Off to perfect world. Perfect world, huh? Get us there. On it. Keep going this way. Hunt. Overtake the wind. Make the very wind Down. itself, you bitch. Hell yes! Ouch! Let's <laughs> go. 
No, I've known you for a long time. Oh, the Gold family has served the Royal family for about 23,700 years now. It has been pretty long. This is apparently a specialty of this planet. These humans line up for more than two hours for this shit. Oh, and you got some just for me? I had Damon's secretary line up for it. <laughs> oh, long lines. Oh, wow! How delicious! These little balls! Is this stuff really that good? Damon gave me some once, back in the day. I liked milk better. So, you two are like super close friends, right? You and Damon? Yeah, we're real close. <gasps> How nice. You're a good friend too. Sorry I got you mixed up in this fight. Especially when you help me break out. Ah! Friend! I'm so honored! I will give you my life, your majesty! Life isn't something you give away. It's something you protect. Your majesty! Hmm. These little balls. They kind of grow on you.
The number nine ranked assassin is Gold Joe. He is a space ore dealer. He smuggles and sells hazardous ores and minerals. The ores are made into weapons of mass destruction. So he is a threat to the peace and safety of the galaxy. Go crazy, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. This is totally different from the last spaceship. So if their technology is different, it means these guys have all come from different planets. This sounds dangerous. We gotta think of a way to strike back. Just remember that Earth also counts as a planet in space. Bloodthirsty people are generally the same everywhere. Now come on, let's go. I hope you liked it! My hyper-modern artwork. I project images relevant to one another onto physical matter, making it seem as though there's a beautiful space existing right there. It's cutting-edge magic. So projection mapping, right? I'm already sick of seeing that shit. With this sort of thing from like the second time you see it, your brain already understands what's going on. You can't not see it as fake. Oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity pop! You guys on Earth are really something. To think that you'd be ahead of us in this sort of artwork? Also, that's way too much time wasted on something like simple projection mapping. Don't waste budget money on shit like this. <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity pop! Criticized? <gasps> and by an Earthling? Well, judging by what I see, I'm assuming you use magnets, huh? <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity-poppity-poopity-pow! So you're gonna use blue and red magnetic north-south to bust out some just slightly puzzlish attacks, right? Damn! Snap, crackle, and dot damn! That's what I thought. Bingo. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. For red, throw up an N mark above your head, and throw up an S for blue. That'll make it simpler. Gamers like that kind of thing. I don't know if I can do exactly as you say, but I'll try my best. Nice. Now show me a good time. And she's... 
get some! Oh, stop it! Is this the shit you've been smuggling? Wow, you're a real shitty guy, huh? Um, you probably shouldn't touch that stuff. It's super dangerous. It'll melt stuff. Like, everything? That's why it makes such good money. <laughs> All right then. Bon appetit! No! Anything but that! That's dangerous! Like, seriously dangerous! Stop! I, I, I was sprayed! It's the ones who don't look like bad guys, who are the real bad guys. Congratulations. You have been recognized as number nine in the galactic rankings. What's that light? Is it flying? Well, yeah, Talbot, you guys are up. You know, I never actually knew those dudes' names till now. The series is going to keep going, right? So we kind of had to give them names. Council style, huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah, not bad. But whatever. This is space, right? Can we do the small talk later? Space. You're still at the number nine spot. You've got a ways to go. Okay, yeah. But before all that, I want to ask you something. Also, I need to talk to you. Do you want to ask me something? Why are you helping them? Is it because it's your job? It is for you. I mean, being your wife and all. I do what I can to help my husband out. What does that even mean? These guys are basically evil aliens. We do not know when they might swarm Earth. So we need some kind of order here. Yeah, that's true. If we're using the same type of ranking system as usual, then I've got a lot more experience. That is why the UAA is running this thing. Damn, Sylvia. Are the kids doing okay? We do not have time. I will set up the match for the next ranking battle. Make sure you kill them dead. Sylvia, I still need to talk to you.
My recommended superfood is golden milk.